She doesn't want anything to change here. Nothing. <laughs> I thought that was a it. great <laughs> answer. They did. They didn't ask me before they decided to <laughs> renovate this place. So here was the start of this final round for Hannah Green. It's a par putt here for Grace Kim. Karen Stupples out watching the final pairing. It was a really good shot she played in there for that par. Had to lay up. Sarah Kemp, this to get it to red figures. Par three, which has played difficult throughout the week. Yeah, it's the fourth toughest hole today. Third toughest of the week. It was only the sixth birdie of the day. Take dead aim here for Jin Young. He's got three holes to really post something here in the clubhouse. Make the leaders think. Really good day, so it is possible to put together a good round. Four under on the day, five under overall. Former world number one, Jin Young Ko. Started to. Wanted to work right, just stayed right there at the end. That's a little bit of what we saw yesterday, Terry. Some players who went out a little bit earlier. I think, Terry, we can really put that down to a little bit of a bulky putter in the afternoons. So, Grace, this is a four hybrid. I think the par she made on the last hole. To the ninth and Tom. It's waiting she with a second shot. So many players could win this here. I mean, it's really pretty tightly bunched, especially as the greens get tougher to read. How about that there from Wei Lin? Big for her to see something go in, but that was a tremendous misread there. Hence the light at the seventh up the hill. Keeping the ball below is key, and that is a great example there. Back over to six. Par putt for Kim. My gosh. Wow, we just saw Esther Henselite three putt from about 10 feet on this hole. That is a huge blow to her confidence, to her scorecard. Try and get this close. I think the player is just to the right of the flag and just put uphill at it. Oh, this is magnificent. What a shot there. Degree wedge out, and I think she's got to try and land this on the very front of the green and try and generate some spin if you want to get this close. If you land it short, it might not hop up. Yeah, that's what we've seen so far today, just like that. This one's got to move to the left. Oh. And just hopped straight away, putting through that. Trying to finish at five under. Yeah, really good day. And again, you've got to expect this to hop forward once it lands on that green. If you take a direct line, Tom, over the bunker, you might end up on a downslope and you could shoot it forward even more. Yeah, it's not bad from what we've seen. Quite a bit left. Back to nine. Yeah, Grace Kim trying to turn things around. This is for a birdie. Straight up the hill. You got to hit it. Oh, it was right there. I feel like we're all trying to will one of Grace's putts. It's got a good lie here. I'm using a nine on. This green should stop for her. Playing back into the wind. really good shot time running out for Emily Pedersen but this is a big uh, chance here second to the par 5 15th three back of the lead flag in the back today just needs to set the brakes on stay right there oh, she's gonna miss the ridge Tom oh, it's wandering back here yeah. it's trying to get yeah it's gonna run down to the lower level that was so close to being par putt moment ago for Grace Kim you would have thought this would be straightforward? Uh, I mean, I don't even know what to say. When when it gets in your head as a player, you know, one aspect of the game right now, Morgan. Her playing partner has finished up. Big difference there. Let's go to the tier 12. And so let's just two back. <laughs> She's got a really high ball flight. Might be able to stop it a little bit closer to this whole location. Oh, almost hit the flagstick. 
So I get through that hole and then go after it on the par fives and that stretch 13 14 15 at 16 Pedersen's third. It's going to break a good bit left to right here. And oh, so close. He's going to kick to the right quite significantly. And how big will that be down the stretch? Wow, what gorgeous technique. Very simple. Kept her weight forward, landed it just on that down slope that Karen was talking about. Got the putter out. It's going to be quite quick just initially. No, I, I just think, Terry, you talk about start line. I think that if she just... Okay, she, breathing a sigh of relief there. That, uh, I mean, that's all you can focus on, really. And I think it's a, sometimes just trying to make the ball go in the hole. Fiddly one here for Patterson. Not a lot of green to work with. But 18, Patty Tabatanikit. There it is. One over 72 today. The Patterson second from the bunker at 18. Well, this might be one she might look to hole right here. Chopped it. The drop shot there. Needs to get this close, make a birdie. It's all about where this ball pitches. That's a good spot to pitch it. That is a really, really lovely approach at just the right time for Maya Stark. A bit of fringe to, to go through, so it might jump a little bit at first, moving right. Did she do it? Oh, she did. Fabulous. And that moves Hannah Green to 11 under par, puts one hand on that. And she's got an eight iron out, 141 to this green that sits uphill on a good line that is on a great line that's the best we've seen there exactly we're, we're right there with you grace and uh, Hannah Green has gone back to back at Wilshire Country Club the winner again of the JM Eagle LA Championship 구독과 좋아요 네꼭 눌러주세요